What's up guys, this is Arshad Samir. Welcome to the very first tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to install Window Builder in your computer. Before installing the Window Builder, I wanna mention something about Window Builder. What, what Window Builder is all about? Window Builder is composed of SWT Designer and Swing Designer and makes it very easy to create Java GUI applications without spending a lot of time writing code. Eventually, you are going to see that the Java code will be automatically generated for you. How awesome is that? So, let's begin how to install Window Builder in your computer. So, let's switch to the Eclipse. Before installing the Window Builder, we need to check the version of our Eclipse. For that, just click on the button Help and we can see there is an option about Eclipse. Just click on it so we can find what is the version of our Eclipse mine is 4.4.1 and I don't know what is your version just keep it in your mind what is the version of your Eclipse and just click on to OK now we are gonna get the link for installing our window builder so that let's switch to Google Chrome and whatever you want now I need to install window builder so let me type this one download window builder for Eclipse 4.4 is because mine is 4.4 I don't know what is yours so that just keep in mind to don't forget to mention that your Eclipse version so as you can see there are so many links I always prefer to click on to the first link is because that is the most appropriate one for downloading or for installing anything and uh, you can see here this is the page for window builder just we need to do only one thing just copy this link and switch to the Eclipse so we need to download this software so that just click on the help option you can find there's an option called install new software if you want to install any software you need to go through this only just click on it so one window will pop up this is the window so after that click add you can put whatever the name you want I'm gonna put Tita's window builder and paste it whatever you have uh, copied from there and click on to ok it's gonna take some time to collect some stuffs corresponding to this link now as you can see it has come what are the options swing designer SWT designer and window builder engine these stuffs are gonna install so that you need to select all these things after that just click on to the next option as you can see this is the new window so what we need to do is that just click on to the next button now we need to accept the terms of the license agreement so that this button gonna be enabled finish button is gonna be enabled now as you as you can see you can download it by clicking on finish button but I've already installed window builder so that I'm not gonna click on the finish button but you guys have to click on the finish button to complete the installation I'm just gonna cancel it out now let's see whether the window builder has been successfully installed or not for checking out I'm gonna create the new project file new Java project what you have wanted you can name it as whatever you want I'm just gonna name it as window builder and under the project name you'll be able to see there's a folder known as source right click on it new just choose the option other is because we are gonna create a window with the help of window builder if the window builder is successfully installed then you'll be able to see there's a folder known as window builder under the window builder you'll be able to see swing designer and SWT designer this is what I said at the beginning of my tutorial window builder is composed of SWT designer and swing designer under the swing designer you'll be able to see there are multiple options application window J applet J dialog J frame J internal frame J panel swing automatic data binding so guys don't bother about all these things I'm gonna explain all the things very clearly in upcoming tutorials just for the purpose of demonstrating whether the installation is successfully completed or not we are gonna click on to J frame and next 
as you can see now we need to give a class name I'm just gonna name it as window you can put whatever you want just click on to finish now you can see auto generated code this is the auto generated code for our window and if you want to switch to the designing part you need to choose the option which is known as design and if you want to switch back to the source code you need to click on the option which is known as source so let us see how design part is looks like there we go this is how it looks like and now we can see the window builder has been successfully installed this is what I want to show in this tutorial guys and I want to mention one more thing in upcoming tutorials I'm gonna do a lot of examples in window builder so that in future after finishing the after finishing all the window build example what I'm going to do is that I'm going to connect all the window build all the window builder examples with the database so that you can interact with data in the sense you can retrieve data you can delete data you can insert or whatever it is update all the things you can do so this is what my entire plan so don't forget to check out my next upcoming tutorials and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click on the thumbs up button thanks for watching I will see you in the next tutorial